Hi guys, welcome to my punch TV. Please like, watch video, share and subscribe to our channel. Today I will going to discuss some tips and tricks within the UiPath Studio. Okay, for my demo, I will going to leverage the Excel as a database. As you can see here, I have some scenario that we were going to use in the development in UiPath Studio. So the first scenario that we have is this create Excel file as a database. The, the second thing is this database connect activities. The third one is this execute query activities. And the next is the output data table activities. And the last one is the message box to show the result. But don't worry, I will going to explain more granular later in our the actual development. But first thing to note that this tutorial is for the XLSX file only. If you have any question or concern, please send a message in my UIFAT forum account. Just seek for my name, Patrick Ricardo, and send a message. I will going to answer your inquiry. And also, please follow me in UiPad Connect. Just seek for my name, also a Pato Ricardo, and follow me. You can use also my components that I already created and published it to the UiPad Connect. Okay, so let's start our development. Let's go to the UiPad Studio to see that in action. Okay, for our personario, we're going to create an Excel file, but for the luxury use of time, I already created one. As you can see here, we have three headers, the name, the country, and email, and for the details, for the name, we have Patty, Ace Pedro, and for the country, we have Philippines, Japan, America, and also for the email. Right, so let's set this aside first. Let's go to the UiPath to create some activities. Okay, again, for the luxury use of time, I already created the components, but don't worry, I will going to explain it one by one. Let's start with the variable panel. For the variable panel, we have four variable. Uh, the first one is this Excel path with the variable type of string and the value of static value. This is the path of our Excel. And also the next one is this DT sample variable name and we use it as a variable type. And this one is the our connection string. This is very important. You need to leverage the variable type database connection. And also the last one is the sample tick text. This is the variable type string. This is where we're going to use it in the message box to show the result. Okay, let's go for our first activity. So first thing that I did is to create a sequence to wrap up all the activities that we were going to work with. Right, and also I put some description on it. Okay, so let's go to the activities database connect so let's go to the properties panel we will going to update this connection string the provider name and the database connection let me enlarge this for us to see it clearly okay so this is the syntax for the connection string and we need to put the variable of the excel here in the syntax of the connection string. And that's it for the connection string. And the next one is the provider name. We need to put the system that data that all the DB. Don't forget that. And we need to output the connection string into the variable so-called con strings because we are going to use it to the execute query activities. And that's it for the database connect activities let's go to the execute query activities okay for the execute query we were going to modify in the properties panel the existing connection and also the input the sql and for the output the data table okay let's go first for the existing connection as you remember we go to the connect 
database connect activities we output the connection string into the variable con string then we were going to pass it to the input I am going to pass it to the existing connection here just put the variable and for the input we need to do a query something like this and for my I need to query all the data from the Excel sheet 1 and for the output I need to pass it to the data table so we created the variable name the DT sample and with the variable type of data table all right so because we were going to pass it to the output data table activities input all right so i think we're done with the execute query let's go to the output data table activities so we need to pass the dt sample data table variable to the input of the output data table and the output of these activities will be going to string variable type. So we already created the sample text, variable name, with the variable type of string, and pass it to the output. Because we were going to use it to the message box to show the result. Right? So the last activities that we had is this message box. As you can see here in our input, we pass the variable name so called sample text with the variable type of string. And that's it for these activities. So let's run our robot to see that in action if we are getting a correct output or not. Okay, there you are. We got all the data that we need in our demo. As you can see here, uh, Patty Ace Pedro. All right. We're doing correctly. But what if I want to select a specific data? So we just so we just need to change our query something like this let's go to the execute query let me enlarge this first okay so let me put I want to select from the name sheet one uh, column name patty where name is equal to patty so okay so So let's run again our robot to see that in action. Alright, I think we get the value that we want. Alright, I think that's it. That's all for this demo. I think I explained it clearly. If you have any question, please let me know. And this is the end of our demo for today. Uh, thank you for watching. Uh, please watch, subscribe, and follow our channel. Uh, see you for my upcoming lesson. Thank you.